with all due respect, Commissioner, it seems like a backwards process, a convoluted process, and it's certainly not a transparent process. It's a process that's I think it's been, been put on at the tail end to avoid some sort of criticism. I don't, I and it hasn't gone out to full um, public comment or review. We don't, I don't know what you're looking at. I'm, I'm a state legislator that's been following this issue for four but years. But you will. You as will, my colleagues. But, but for comment, it's one thing to look at it. Sure, I understand it's going to be released at the end. Of course it's going to be released at the end. And are, is the public going to have an opportunity for public comment and review of this, I'm of this I'm sure the public health. will comment on it. No, I mean, I mean formal public comment. I'm asking a serious we question. Of course they're going to comment. You, you know, we know they're deeply concerned about this, as, as are many of us. Um, is there going to be um, legal, public, uh, formal comment on this document, on I, in this I, health I, review? I don't know at this stage. I haven't seen the report yet. The re report could include a full range of things. It could, from you know, one end of the spectrum that, no, we don't, we're not convinced you've done enough. Uh, they could be convinced you've done enough and conclude that it shouldn't happen in New York. That's one possibility. So until I see that, for some reason I don't, I'm not drawing any conclusions about the need, even there may be no need for public comment, depending on what Dr. Shaw says. Are we clear on exactly what chemicals are in the fracking water? There is a list, an exhaustive list in the SGIS of the potential chemicals that could be used. I think we list up to 350 chemicals very specifically. Um, since we don't have, we haven't uh, fracked a high vo volume well in New York, we don't know what they would use specifically in New York, but we'd require them to give us that both before and after a frack job. So if we don't know exactly what chemicals would be used to frack a well in New York, do, do the scientists that are doing the current health study know what the chemicals are that would be used to frack a well in New York? We know all the potential chemicals that would be used, and we've listed all of those, and we've enumerated the type of uh, health impacts that are associated with those chemicals. So I'm not sure, again, absent actually having the experience in New York of um, having a high volume well frack, how we could possibly know that. You could be more specific and look at the agriculture, the impact on the agricultural industry or the dairy industry. We, we did. Okay. And when you, when you looked at that, did you take into account there was a study in Pennsylvania that showed that where there was active well, there was a reduction in the number of, of cows producing milk. We did look at that. Um, <laughs> once again, uh, it's, we hope it's a little bit like comparing apples to oranges when there's impacts in Pennsylvania. <laughs> impacts in Pennsylvania are under a spe very specific regulatory regime. We're, proposed things that are very different than what has been done. For example, <coughs> open impoundments are used for flow back water in places. We're not proposing to, the use of open <coughs> impoundments. And open impoundments are a problem, and they, that is one, one specific you know, possibility for a you know, connection between agricultural impacts um, that, again, in New York, we wouldn't allow that to them to be used. The updated uh, SGIS was released in December, if I remember correctly. Um, prior to that, you had received about 80,000 comments, um, and it took you a year to analyze those 80,000 comments. And I understand there's about 200,000 comments that have come in since December. Right. How are you handling reviewing those 200,000 comments? It's kept people very busy. <laughs> Well, if it took you, what's your time frame? I mean, again, going back to that February deadline, which apparently is not a deadline, but it took you a year to do 80,000 comments, and now there are 200,000 comments, so. Um, there's 200,000 comments. I don't know how many of them are both germane to the, um, what we were seeking comments on, which was just the regulations that we proposed. Some of them, obviously, are just uh, repetitive comments. So there's lots of comments, and staff is literally working on responding to those comments right now, and lots of staff are working on them. Okay. 